sex comedies, animal activism, and a seriously tragic marriage. This is the life and career of Doris Day. Doris Day was a singer and actress who was active during the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. The long-lived star died at her home in Carmel Valley, California on May 13, 2019. She was 97 years old. Day's death marked the end of an entertainment legacy that included notable contributions such as the tunes Sentimental Journey and It's Magic. Her film and TV career also stood the test of time, having starred in numerous classic films including Calamity Jane and The Pajama Game. Despite her illustrious film and music career, the actress's bubbly on-screen persona concealed a turbulent personal life. Her abusive relationship with her husband and her experiences with financial struggles took a heavy toll on the legendary performer. It took her many years to recover. Instead of the stable personal life she craved, Day famously spent much of her time advocating for animal rights. Her namesake charity continues to carry on her activism after her death. Doris Day was born in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1922, and it was there that her career started to blossom. In 1940, Day signed on to sing with Barney Rapp, a moderately successful jazz musician throughout the 1920s through the 40s. While the 16-year-old Day was living with her mother at the time, that changed when she met Al Jordan, who Barney Rapp employed as one of the band's trombonists. Her first impression of the musician was less than favorable. Doris found the 23-year-old abrasive and stated bluntly, he's a creep and I wouldn't go out with him if they were giving away gold nuggets at the movie. Eventually, however, she fell for Jordan, and the pair married in March 1941, when Day was 17. Just two months into their marriage, Day discovered that she was pregnant, which didn't sit well with Jordan. He physically abused Day on a number of occasions. The volatile musician even attempted to violently induce a miscarriage. Although Jordan wanted Day to have an abortion, she was determined to have her child. Day's son, Terry Jordan, was born in February 1942. Doris Day resumed her career after she divorced Al Jordan in 1943. Her first big success was with the 1948 film Romance on the High Seas, after which she starred in several dramas, musicals, and romantic comedies. She worked alongside some of Hollywood's biggest stars, from Frank Sinatra in Young at Heart to James Cagney in the Ruth Edding biopic Love Me or Leave Me. From the late 1950s through the 60s, she became particularly well-known for her so-called sex comedies. These were films that helped define find the actress's contradictory image as Hollywood's sexual virgin. During her movie career, Day also became involved in animal rights activism. It all started in 1956, when Day was filming The Man Who Knew Too Much in Morocco. She saw that the goats, lambs, horses, and other animals near the set were emaciated and refused to continue filming until they were all adequately cared for. This prompted Day to start helping at pet adoption events and other benefits for animals. In the 1970s, she founded the Doris Day Pet Foundation, which later turned into the Doris Day Animal Foundation. The organization mission focuses on assisting other animal rights nonprofit organizations. I have to call my dog, thanks. Did you say you were calling your dog? Yeah. Doris Day's third husband, Marty Melcher, died in 1968. She soon discovered that he spent almost $20 million of her money, leaving her with nearly $500,000 in debt. She started filming The Doris Day Show to recover her finances and spent years fighting legal battles. In addition, Day had successful ventures in real estate, having owned multiple hotels and residential properties. By the year of her death, her net worth was $200 million. As per celebrity net worth, she passed away with only a few family members. People Magazine reports that the Doris Day Animal Foundation received the proceeds from her $7.4 million estate in Carmel Valley. Terry Melcher was Doris Day's only son. Perhaps unsurprisingly, he rejected the surname Jordan. Instead, he chose to go by the last name of Day's third husband, Martin. Terry had a lucrative career as a music producer, working with a number of popular bands during the 1960s. Melcher died from melanoma in 2004, leaving behind a son named Ryan. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website.